The World Survey says only 32% of employees are truly engaged in a workspace. The question now is, why is that percentage so low? Another thing you're probably asking yourself is, are you even an engaged employee? And what does it mean? There's a whole lot to talk about today on Certification Insights. Welcome to the show as we discuss employee engagement. My name is Bamidele Vivian Osage. Do not go anywhere. We will be right back after this. Welcome back from that short break. This is Certification Insights. And of course, my name is Bamidele Vivian Osage. So our topic for today, getting right into it because I'm excited about this particular topic. Employee engagement. What is it about? Well, I have none other than Ajibola Bamidele again in the studio with me. How are you today? I'm doing good. Ooh, okay, please humor me a little. I'm excited about this. because I'm so excited because we're going to be talking about one of the most important parts of um, human resources. For the longest and, time. And business. Engagement. Like, we need to talk about this because sometimes I... I, I feel like I'm also guilty. I could be in a workspace and I feel like I'm not doing so much or as much as I should. But I'm glad that today I get to be enlightened and you watching as well, you get to be enlightened. Employee engagement in a nutshell, like how many um, percentage of employees are truly engaged? Okay, so um, um, to draw a bit of clarity, what is engagement? What is employee engagement? You know, before I start looking at um, the percentage of okay. people that are this way, I want to explain engagement because if I give you statistics, people will be shocked. So, but if I define it yes. and I now tell you that the percentage of people that display this is this, then you won't be shocked anymore. Okay. So, now if you look at it, employee engagement, is that co emotional connection? Is, is, that, is that kind of feeling that you get that you're connected to the success of the job you do? Like, okay. You, you know, you've seen it beyond the paycheck. You, you're looking at men, what I'm doing must be successful. Now, that connection, you know, is not really there anymore in most employment. Uh, you see, most times, people confuse, I'm not happy. Because some employees might be happy and they're not engaged. You know, so you might be excited, happy. Happiness is not engagement. Engagement is about, about the company goals. You are so that that they must achieve it. That's engagement. So you might even be satisfied with your salary. And there might be employee satisfaction. You love your pay, you love this, but you're not engaged. You're not committed to see that company grow. You're not committed to see men. That's why you see people say, you, you also display discretionary behavior. You don't have to tell you to do things. You know, even when it's not your role, you see that something is done, it's not your role. You engage, you, you take it, you want to do it. You don't want to say, let me leave you there. That's Zoning. engagement. That's engagement. You're, you're, you're sold out to the goals of the company. So, you know, if, if a company, that's an example, somebody is on social media mm -hmm. and is meant to, they have to remind you every time to post. You don't even know why they post. But that's the job. Now, if that person is not saying, man, what can we do more? Man, the post I have, man, there's not so much engagement. The person is thinking, what can I do next? You know what? I'm going to do this. Let me try it. This is a that there's a sense of I don't want to call it a sense of ownership alone. This is this sense of connection that this company must survive. So the people that engage strive, they push, they speak well, they're ambassadors of that organization. Okay. What what about um paraventure? One wants to really get engaged in the organization, but has that fear of I feel like I'm overstepping and doing above and beyond. Maybe there are people designed for that particular role, but someone feels like, you know what, I think I can engage my company more and do some other things in my own capacity, more than what the person was brought in for. So now, it's possible you're engaged and also immature in the way you engage. Like not, okay, I want to get involved. I want to more engage in somebody else's role and I see something that somebody should do well. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to provide a lot of leadership for that person. Like, oh man, can I help you do this? Man, I can assist you. It's going to, I, I, won't, it, I won't let it look like I want to outshine the person. Okay. But I will try to say, man, let's do it together. I can assist you. So the person will even allow you because you're not coming okay. as, you know, uh, let me go and do it. You, no, no, no. You don't, you don't want to outshine that person because that person wants to protect his territory. But however, 
you want to get that thing done. So how do you work this guy? That's your own, that's your own, should I say, maturity. How do you work this guy so that that guy will not even know that you, but the goal is your focus. It's not who takes the credit. So most times, engagement is not about you showing yourself, I'm the one that did this. It's about, we got it done. I don't care who takes the credits. It's much more about the job. That's engagement. Okay. But then there won't be like a case where one feels like I contributed to an extent, but you, but let's say management doesn't even know. They don't have to. You see, engagement does not mean they must know. It's like you're, you're sold out. People, when you're not there, sometimes people are engaged. When they're not there, they feel it. People feel it. When they're there, things are working. So most times when you engage the employee, it just it's about the job. It's about contributions, about ownership. It's about saying that this should not fail, even though I'm not rewarded for it. Because when you're thinking rewards, and you're thinking that you're going towards employee satisfaction. So I've seen employees that they are there, they're committed, they give all. They're not even getting rewards that, that match that kind of engagement. And I've seen employees that are heading big and they don't care about their government goals. All they care about is their pay. And if you want to let them do more, offer them more pay. Then they get to, so they get to do more. So they, you know, employees that engage, you don't have to motivate them to work extra hours. To work, to, let's come and do it this day. You know, so when people are engaged, you can see, you can feel it. You know, it's seen. People even tell them that these guys, ah, you want to die on the job? You are working too much. Ah, you, you, let us go, Jerry. Look at the school days when 10 people are on, on, in a project team and one person or two people are engaged. They want to achieve, they want to get the 30 over 30. Others just want to drop their names. Others want to write their names down. Oh, no, let me be part of it. Oh, you guys want to, let me just give you money. They don't, they're not engaged, but they're even giving money to get it done. So they're not engaged with assignment. So engagement is totally different. Okay, I'm glad you've broken it down totally. So now mm -hmm. back um, to the previous question, like what percentage of employees are really engaged? So in let's take an example. Look at every department that you've worked. Okay. If there are 10 people in that company, how many people do you think are sell out? Even as simple as you're in a gathering and you're talking about, let's say, ushering or in a church, mm -hmm. and you have people that will say, well, me, I can't come. Well, only two, three people out of ten will push for, let's be there. Don't worry. They don't want championing those initiatives. Others, they keep dragging others along. So in organizations, so let's go back to the Pareto's principle that talks about 20-20 rule. Okay. Usually right. it's about less than 8-20%. Of workforce that are engaged. So if you have 100, they're no more than 20. Wow. You know, if you have, um, um, and that's almost the highest in the world. It's a world, it's a global statistics. Even in America, you hear them say they have like 32 or 30 percent engagement, but in the world, about 20. So that means in your company, if you even have 10, sometimes 10 percent engagement. Mm -hmm. So you will see that it's, it's lower in most organizations. Yeah. So that's basically, especially in a country like ours, that whatever your name is not on, is not your own. People protect what their name is on. So most times, it's not my own, it's not my child, it's not my car, it's not my this. So they don't give in the best. They don't care if it fails. So, what that, and that's why when people even hear that, man, they're, they're hearing rumors of things that can collapse the company, they don't care. So when, if, if, it might even be the colleague, they've put the name of the colleague to represent the, co the company, mm -hmm. Uh, in a conference, yeah. and you know that this is your colleague is about to resign, and you know that they've put the person's name and they're signing a deal. Now, people that engage, we know that, ah, and if that person wants to walk away and make the company lose the deal, if you are aware that what I'm going to do for the company is I'm going to walk away, that they'll put my name by walk away when that deal is coming. What will you do? Because if you're connected to the job, you won't say, let me mind my business, so let me not talk. Oh, you get involved. You see it as yours. You see it as, this cannot feel. I cannot watch it die. No, you can't do this. So most times, that's basically what I see about. Okay. So ah. it's like less than 20%. It's less not, than 20%. Yeah, less than 20%. Okay, now you In Nigeria, said, 5%. I was going to ask no, you. Nigeria Nigeria. Is Nigeria. No, no, no. I said it earlier <laughs> on that uh, uh, we don't protect things here. We don't care about things here. It's a culture. Like it's, it's a culture. It's a selfish culture. And that's why people want the country even get destroyed without doing anything about it. We mind our business here. So we believe our business is only our life. So we don't get involved in anything around us. So that's basically, so our own engagement level 
it's, it's something else. Talking about engagement now, um, humor me a little. Um, what industry or company or, or type of business do you feel has the most in, um, engaged employees? I don't want to put, because so many, some companies I've seen, the small businesses are people are engaged. Why? Good practice. Um, they brought in the right people. Because most times we fail in engagement because of the traits of the kind of people you're bringing in. So from recruitment, it failed. They failed in engagement. So when it comes to businesses I've seen, we don't, I don't want to start mentioning the big uh, Microsoft and all, and all, or maybe, because most times people say, people don't leave this company. They want to see, look, when we leave other banks and work with CBN, people yeah. don't leave. But that doesn't mean they're engaged. They don't leave because there's, there's backs, there's money, there's rewards. When people work with NMPs, it doesn't mean they're engaged. They, they, they just would leave. So retention is not a good metric to test engagement. So, so for me, measure the measurement is how many discretionary efforts do people put in without nobody telling them. Mm. So these are all this. You need to look at how many things do you get done? How many volunteering do you get when you want to get things done? How many sense of ownership do you get? Because you're only looking at retention rates and giving survey all around. Yes. And most of it only works on, do you like your pay? Do you like this? Do you want more money? Do you think we should do more? But what ex those are the things you get in survey. So most times you need to observe those traits and look at, observe this behavior, observe those who that are always there, don't always want to do something. They don't always want to say, well, it's not, I'm going home. Even when there's something to be done, you know, they want to go <laughs> the extra mile. So you want to look at those things and look at, that's how you can measure. So we cannot totally, and some companies that people give in a lot that way, you see them, business start moving, things start working. Oh. With few people, things move. Don't forget, you might have a lot of people and your things are not moving. A company that has 20%, like 10 people engaged, yes. and a company that has um, 100 people and 10 engaged, you actually see results. So they have, but even the people that have 100 staff and 10 engaged, will even lose more money because they have eye overhead. Okay. They are paying dead men. I call them dead men. People so that the money is are, going. Are, are in the company, but they're not having serious value oh, anymore. Sure. So when people say, yeah, this person is leaving the company, are you sure we're not mourning a dead man? Hmm. Someone that have died before, it's just like just exiting that day. So you ask people like that, that their presence is not shaking mountains. So when they are going, we've mourned them far beyond that and they leave. And that's basically what engagement If is we about. keep talking, this show, this particular topic will not yeah, end. It's a serious topic. It's a serious topic. Okay. And, and that's why everybody has to get engaged. Like, you know, as you're watching the video, leave comments, like, interact. Definitely, we're going to keep responding and chatting as much as we can. Um, in a nutshell, before we wrap up everything, there's several benefits, definitely, to employee mm -hmm. engagement. Mm -hmm. Can you just highlight a few? Okay. The first one is business success. We're going to make more money. Increase sales. We're going to add more sales. Increase customer's service. Your, serv your customers will be excited because people will go the extra mile for that. And that's, that's majorly three. But business growth. Your business will grow when you are engaged. That's the goal. That's the goal. And lastly, are there things people can do to get more engaged? Like what are those things? Okay, so uh, when you say people get more engaged, that, that's a mysterious thing because I see that not all employees can be engaged. It's a different case because if in the person's traits and psychology, it doesn't believe in doing good work, cannot be engaged. So it's corrupt from the beginning. So corrupt, you know, it's it, it spoiled apple, cannot be mend, mended. So it's about that human frame. So the first thing I tell you, why do you get your people engaged is to make sure when you are recruiting, you identify the right traits that your company needs from people. Not just what's on CV. Not that you just say you have to one and this. No, 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 no. You need to look at the kind of things that person have committed to before. The way that person sees life, his worldview. Those things must be checked first so that it won't be the song that says, How can we sing the Lord's song in a strange, strange land? land? So if you brought people <laughs> that are in straight land and you yes. want them to sing the Lord's song, they can't. Wow. So, the traits, number one. Number Foundation two traits. is, now, put everything in place that can make life of your people comfortable. When life of people that have the traits. <laughs> because, so, you need to make them comfortable. Make them safe. 
make them excited, then, then that's state. And you will see the right engagement you want. But most people want to say, you know what, let's turn these pigs to goats. We, let's turn these pigs to, to, to sheep. So, you know, so we want to engage <laughs> them now. Mm -mm. We might have failed from beginning, from selection. Yes. And no matter what we do, nothing can happen. Nothing can happen. We just waste money. <sighs> okay. Ajivala Bamidele. Mm. Today's topic is so hot. And mm -hmm. I love it. You see why I was excited at the beginning? Because mm. I knew we were going to like share so many nuggets and just, you know, impact people and inspire them. And hope you've learned a thing or two. I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show today. And... This is where we draw the curtain. Are you an engaged employee or are you just sitting there? Watch this video over and over again. Engage in our comment section as well. And do not forget to be kind to one another. Till next time, my name remains Bamidele Viviana Sage, and this has been Certification Insights. See ya. A global certification in human resources will prepare you for global opportunities and land you your dream job. For over a decade now, we have been training successful candidates. So if you must pass your global exams at first try, this is the right place. Interestingly, you pay for one and get two extra courses for free. This class is for those who want to jumpstart their HR career and want to do it now. Just do it. Certification Edge, building cross-border capabilities.